that means that we have to change the plan and now <laughs> we're going to Italy. Let's go. So we just had to push our bikes for like 15, 20 minutes. I've been riding along like a, a ski uh, piss. Uh, yesterday was a really hot day and um, in the end since we were at about like 1700 meters altitude um, yeah it got cold and dark really quickly so we kind of just made our way from the road up there to down here to camp here um, and yeah I got some warm stuff on as quick as possible and now in the daylight uh, the spot's actually not that bad it's a pretty nice view but yeah, it's still a lot colder than yesterday morning because we're still at 1,300 meters. And this little pond behind us is also still frozen. <laughs> Yo, how are you feeling today? <laughs> Never feel better in my entire life. How are the legs doing? The legs? <laughs> yeah, <it's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Also meine Bremsen, die, die ziehen echt nicht mehr doll. Day 2 started with a terrible ascent down a hiking path, which really brought our bikes to their limit. Also man weiß, dass, dass der Weg nicht so gut geeignet ist, wenn einem die ganze Zeit nur Wanderer entgegenkommen. Ich kann es ein bisschen probieren, aber es ist auch nicht so optimal. Ne? Ja, ich meine, wir können es kurz probieren, aber mit dem Abgrund da. This is like a super sketchy little path. I know, man, you'd have to write this down with like a fully mountain bike. We're just not uh, equipped for this. And it goes really steep down uh, there, so yeah. <laughs> this is really frustrating right now. We rode up all of this elevation yesterday and now we don't even get to ride it. And um, there's gonna be some more single trail and stuff that's made for fully mountain bikes basically on the route that we chose. So we're uh, yeah, gonna take a little detour, it's gonna be more kilometers and more altitude gain, but um, on paved roads, which is also nice. It's a beautiful little paved road. Riding uphill on asphalt is quite different than riding off-road. The paved road is easier to ride up and you can get into a rhythm while riding. And since you don't have to focus so much on the ground surface, you can look around much more and enjoy the surroundings. But you have to be aware of traffic, there can be cars, and on top of the mountain there's other people as it's often not as remote. While most of the climbs of this trip we preferred off-road terrain uphill, we really enjoyed nice paved roads downhill. It's just so much fun to race down these roads.
beautiful sight after all this uphill riding. Bar, aperto, gelato, tannini. <laughs> we love to see it. <laughs> we just had a beer and some nice bruschetta to eat down here in the village. And now we've got one hour of full gas uphill and then um, some interesting single trail downhill and we'll have to hurry up before the sun sets. We rode up two big climbs that day and at the end of the second one there was about one hour of gravel road that led us to the top. We had to ride fast as sunset was coming and we wanted to descend before sunset so the night wouldn't be so cold. <laughs> Riding up a mountain off-road is usually much more difficult. You always have to look for traction, be aware of the surface and it's sometimes so steep that you have to push the bike. But that also makes it more of an adventure and when you're at the top you usually have the view for yourself and you get to places that no one can see if they didn't work for it. like all the places that we cycle today down there basically yeah pretty insane <laughs> oh this is echt so eine fucking ski piste this is the route yeah this is the route this is the The descent was insane. We basically rode down and across a skiing slope, slipping and sliding over the snow and through some miracle we managed not to fall. That was good as we might have ended up 50 meters further down the mountain if we fell. <laughs> das ist echt extrem zu scheiße, wenn ich je gefahren bin, so ob mit Gepäck oder ohne. <lacht> Und wir fahren halt mit Gepäck. <lacht> Yo, this is so insane. This is like a black ski slope and uh, the path basically just went like back and forth. Under it there was tons of snow. It was so sketchy. It was so insane to ride that and insane that we didn't fall. But yeah, it's so steep down here and all full of snow and ice. Jesus, this this route is gonna kill us someday. <laughs> <laughs> After 45 minutes of ski slope descending, we found a camping spot close to a ski resort with a really cool view over the valley and had a well deserved dinner. Another night, another pesto with onions and carrots so let's get this boiling and while the pasta is boiling let's have a look at this pesto yeah it 
starts telling you the story of the last few days. Yo, dinner. This is an entire glass of pesto. <laughs> Tastes fucking good. <laughs> meters and it goes down very steep. Yeah. 